Hey peeps, it's Diana. Or Beanie Cat, you might only know me as my username, I don't know actually. So it's 2018, fresh year, and I wanted to try something new, you know? I have, I follow a lot of artists who actually do voiceover on their videos instead of just the music, and I thought, hey, that sounded like fun, so here we are. If it's not your cup of tea, feel free to just mute me, listen to something you actually want to listen to, I'm not gonna fault you for it. So the picture I feel needs a little explaining. <laughs> I feel like all my pictures generally do. But, okay, so I've been, I've been wanting to draw more JoJo recently. Particularly Boingo, because I felt like I was on the cusp of utterly forgetting how to draw him. <laughs> but I've also been on a huge back kick recently, since we got teased with Book 2 coming out, potentially. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Back is a webcomic written by Casey Green and drawn by Anthony Clark. It updates Wednesdays with two pages, sometimes three, at backcomic.com, and you should totally check it out because it is amazing and I love it. It is the highlight of every week. Every time, every week it doesn't update, there's there's a small void in my heart where Back would have been if it had updated. But anyway, I got these two things that I was wanting to draw, and so my brain, as it does, went, oh, how can you mash these up then? How can you mix them together and draw them both? So my brain decided on a clothes swap because, hey, Whole Horse and Abigail are both cowboys slash, you know, cowgirl Abigail, and Boingo and Daniel are both tiny companions. So I was like, great, perfect, do it. The shading on this, I was actually, actually initially going in, I was thinking I was gonna use my zebra cookie brush, which I've used previously, previous videos. It's really nice, I really like it for shading and for lining, it looks really nice for lining sometimes. But as I was lining whole, horse, whole horse's uh, coat, jacket thing, whatever it counts as, I was like, hey, this would actually be a really good opportunity to record a black shading process. Which I did previously with a picture of Aiden, but the composition of that particular picture I felt made for a boring watching experience. This one I think is a little more interesting. It, it, at least, I don't know, there's a little more going on in terms of the shading? I don't know. But yeah, I was really happy I was able to revisit that style of shading for a speed paint, because I really like this style of shading. <laughs> I don't know if it stems from like, you know, like the Majora's Mask uh, art, because Majora's Mask is my favorite game and I love that art. I don't know. I, j I just love it. It looks great. Also going in, I was initially, like the idea was that uh, Boingo would be holding Tote, his stand, that's how I pronounce his stand's name. Uh, but I was thinking, well, if it's like a full-on clothes swap, would Whole Horse have Abigail's gun, you know? So if he had Abby's gun, then Boingo couldn't have Tote, because Whole Horse wouldn't have the Emperor, you know? And then I sketched Boingo in that pose, and I really liked the pose, and it just, I didn't feel like I should change it. And I also kind of just didn't want to draw the Emperor because that gun is ridiculous. So I just went with this, you know. They don't have their stands with them, I guess. I mean, theoretically, I guess maybe it could be in the backpack, but... And I, I digress. Boyo here, his hair, his hair, I feel like I've gotten down how I want to draw his bangs, but his, the rest of his hair in general, I, I only noticed, I only really got the idea of how they draw it in the anime while I was drawing this picture, and I still didn't draw it that way. <laughs> So I don't, I don't know how, how I'll do it in the future. I, I'll probably try drawing it uh, the way they do in the anime because I, I, I think I've got that now. It's actually pretty simple when you look at it. When you look at the thousands of screenshots that I have from the Boingo and Whole Horse episodes. <laughs> I, those are my favorite Stardust Crusaders episodes. Oh, that hand. His reaching hand. Not, not that hand, but his reaching hand. That took me forever. That took me way too long because when I sketched it, I sketched like the bare minimum. <laughs> And so, when I actually went to the line, I was like, Oh, frick, I gotta draw that hand. <laughs> and I was looking at references online because at first I was I was like, Do I look at my own hand or do I look at references online? And I was like, you know what, I should look up references online. That's the thing to do right now. And eventually I just ended up using my own hand. <laughs> and that ended up being the better thing. I was like, dang it, you know? <laughs> Not like I wasted too, too much time. Well, I did actually. Like I said, I spent a lot of time on that hand. It, it, it probably would have it probably would have taken as long either way. Speaking of hands, I don't know if you can tell that uh, the way I sketched it, whole horse's 
uh, you know, hiding arm, the arm that is hidden, was actually, it's actually like, kind of like he's got his thumb in his belt or something, you know? It, it kind of, when you kind of just look at it, I feel like maybe it just gives the impression that he has his hand on his hip, but nah, he, he, that, he actually has it, like, like a thumb, thumb looped under his belt or the waist of his pants or something. This background took me longer than it should have. I feel like I can't justify that it took me like 15 minutes. But eh, whatever. It kind of turned out nice in the end. I mean, when I showed this to Eric, uh, my, my little brother, he I didn't ask him about the background. He just said, what'd he say? Exactly. Uh, I like the area they're in. I think that's what he said. And I was like, oh, fudge, cool. I guess the background worked out. <laughs> uh, I had fun with this picture. I don't know if, you know, in the future I'll look back at it and I'll think, this was a dumb idea, or if I'll be like, no, this was a good idea. But for now, I had fun. I, I liked it, you know, I liked working on it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed hearing me talk a little bit over this picture. Hopefully I wasn't too rambling, disjointed. Uh, sorry if you could hear my laptop running, because I only have the mic that's built into it. <laughs> uh, tell me if you love it, hate it, don't really care either way in the comments. Maybe I'll do it again, maybe I won't. Thanks for watching. Ciao!